Asthma is probably the most common medical issue we have in the first aid room and at the school. That's just because we've got a little over 10% and it's such a common thing for students to have asthma symptoms. At the start of the year it is a busy time and globally we see an increase in the rates of asthma flare-ups amongst children at back to school time. They have been apart from each other for a good couple of months. The weather's nice and warm. And once they get back to school, they're not only sharing their wonderful holiday stories, they're sharing a few germs. So from there, we might get a bit of a flare up in viruses, which can be a trigger for a child's asthma. Luke is nine years old. He's in grade three. I suppose the first time he sort of had an asthmatic cough was when he was about two. Luca also has hay fever, and I think over the last couple of years, that's become more of an issue for him. If an identified student has symptoms of asthma during the course of the day or on an excursion, the first thing we need to do is identify if they're on our register and if we have an action plan for them. If we do, then we make sure we get their medication and follow their action plan. If they don't, then we have an emergency kit uh, at all sites across the school, including the first aid room. So if we've got students that have asthma symptoms, we can follow the standard action plan and use the medication. So the key to that is communication and we really emphasise that for students with asthma, that they talk to their teachers if they're feeling like they're having certain symptoms, we need to get them to speak to the teachers uh, and making sure that parents and teachers constantly communicate. So if they have asthma at school or if they have some asthma at home, that communication is going back and forth. I contacted Luca's teacher who said we need to have it on site, he needs to have an asthma plan. That motivated us to go to the GP and discuss it and we've learnt a lot more about asthma and as it happens Luca has needed that and it's been really good to have. So Asthma Australia and local foundations provide a number of support programs for people with asthma, their carers, parents. Teachers each year can have an annual update which is free, face to face or if it suits the school we've got an online option as well. Parents we can run through the school the session or book through community groups as well. We always do an asthma audit to make sure that we catch parents that have had students diagnosed with asthma but haven't may, maybe not have informed us so we can make sure that our asthma list is up to date. Now I really understand how important it is for the school to have that information and to be able to act on it. So we work regularly with the Asthma Foundation in terms of our training and our equipment and our medication that we get. They also help with the action plan templates that we provide to parents. It made us feel a lot safer knowing the school had his reliever medication, they had his plan, so we felt very safe sending them off. Our website is a great place to visit if you have had any questions and we also have our helpline which is 1800 asthma so if you want your question answered by an asthma educator you can call us and we'll answer all the questions that you do have.